What's up everyone out there in fragrance land? Tommy with Studio Sense here. Happy that you stopped by to check out today's video. Today I'm talking about fragrances that are more appropriate to business or work settings. You ever smell a fragrance and your first initial thought as soon as you smell it, of course, above and beyond, ooh, I really like this, or ooh, I don't like this, is this would be really good for a workplace, or this would be really good in an office environment. That's sometimes the case when it comes to a first pillar fragrance of a brand, but it's usually the case when it comes to the second or the third flanker, that they really tighten up on the formula, they make it very polished, but there's also something that's like kind of a business aesthetic about it. There are fragrances out there in the blue genre that aren't playful. They're all about getting it done, taking care of business in a very mature, very serious manner. And that's what today's video is about. I've got 10 of the best business blue fragrances for men. That and more is coming your way, so stay tuned. Yeah, Welcome back everyone, where today we're talking about business blues. That's right, the best of the blue fragrance category where it's business or professional or best used in the workplace. These fragrances have proven themselves time and again to be absolutely perfect for the office. In fact, specifically made for that kind of scenario or environment. And so today I'm gonna to be showcasing these 10 fragrances. The very first fragrance that is great for the office that almost was actually created to go, not necessarily upscale, but definitely a suit and tie situation, is the brand Brioni. Brioni for men is an eau de parfum concentrated fragrance that is extremely accessible. This is one of the very first fragrances that I ever smelled for the first time and it put me in mind of a three-piece gray suit that was Italian tailored. Ozonic pink pepper and green apple open. In the heart you've got violet and ambroxan. Cedarwood tonka and musk comprise the base but overall this blend just feels very classic. In other words this fragrance was created specifically to be a classic signature scent no matter matter when in the future that it's used. And in fact, the bottle shape is that of a tailored Italian suit, kind of made or modeled after that. Brioni for men by Brioni. The next business blue that's perfect for the workplace is exactly the example. It's like the penultimate polished and refined of a flanker. To me, it kind of marks the perfect evolution of scent in this particular line. It is from Yves Saint Laurent. It is Y Le Parfum. Why Le Parfum is perfect for the workplace because it takes that very bright, refreshing, and fruity DNA and it turns it a little bit, turns the clock forward into a, just a bit more of a mature stance, takes it out of stasis and advances it a bit into a really refined and kind of upscale territory. The Y-DNA and profile will always be a great casual wear fragrance and this is no different, but again, it bumps it up just a bit. The stakes are a little bit higher. You still got green apple, apple, ginger, sage, geranium, that tonka bean, the patchouli, the entire scent profile is there. It's just denser. With that heavy concentration of oils, it makes all the difference. It takes that kind of playful, fruity bubblegum essence and turns it into a it's more of a serious, juicy fruit. <laughs> I can't say juicy fruit and be serious, but I think you catch my drift. One of the best office scents ever and really the best iteration in the line, Why Le Parfum by Yves Saint Laurent. It's a lot of people's opinion. We wouldn't have all these varieties of epic business blues if we didn't have Blue de Chanel by Chanel. So of course I have to include it in this perfect office scent or perfect variation of the blue genre of fragrances for the work environment. Now this is the EDP, but whichever version you have of Blue de Chanel, it's an epic office fragrance. I'm gonna set this aside. You don't have to be an audiophile to know what an equalizer is, right? An equalizer allows you to modify the bass the treble, the fade, and any of those other various radio buttons that's controlling your music. So you can actually fine tune the sound and get it just right according to your ears, according to your experience. Blue de Chanel is like that for blue fragrance, but it's more like one of those preset equalizer options that happens to be the most pleasing to the greatest majority of people. Blue de Chanel is one of the most crowd-pleasing blue fragrances, and that's why it's so easy to fit in most fragrance lists that are of a blue genre of fragrances. It encapsulates almost perfectly all the variety of reasons why the blue genre is the best genre for 
the workplace. The next business blue that's perfect for the workplace is probably one that'll take you a little bit by surprise because it's not often talked about. It's not really well known actually, but I find it absolutely perfect for the workplace. You've probably heard of the really solid leather fragrance for men by Trasardi called My Land, but you may not have heard of Blue Land, which is the flanker to My Land, and subsequently the blue version of the DNA. It's also just an overall great fragrance. There's not a lot of playfulness. It's a very serious, when you spray this on, you immediately get that leather vibe. It's got zesty accords of green apple, bitter orange, and stone moss. Its heart includes lavender, marine, and ginger, with a base of vetiver, cashmere, and suede, which really take over the fragrance. Once you get past that freshet of an opening, which is really intense. I actually really enjoy the opening of Blue Land. Primarily the vetiver, cashmere, and suede take over, but it's almost like the DNA comes full circle from that freshet of a lightly fruity opening all the way into the more textured, more downplayed DNA, which is what my land is all about. Blue land just takes it into the blue territory, but it maintains that serious stance that the leather fragrance has been all about. Blue land just gets it right, and that's what makes it perfect for the workplace. The next business blue that's great for the office has been given some negative press because of its performance. It does lack a little bit in the performance territory, but let's face it, how long do you want a fragrance to last when you're working, when you're going to a brick and mortar location, or let's say you work from home? Sometimes you don't want your fragrance to bulldog it for eight plus hours. Sometimes you just want it to last for a certain amount of time so that when you get home, you can take a shower and put something else on or quickly put something else on. It's a very pleasing scent that is a perfect accoutrement to the office, to your briefcase, to your attache, and it is Coach Blue. Coach Blue has an eye-opening absinthe note. You get this really limey, fruity absinthe. In the heart, you get ozonic notes along with black pepper. It starts building and burgeoning out, starting in the mid, finally resting on the base of amber and cedar. Overall, a very pleasing Coach makes a great fragrance. The original Coach for Men is a great fragrance. This just doesn't carry the torch long enough for some people. While I definitely understand that, it doesn't take away, you know, from me recommending it for usage. Coach Blue. The next business blue that's great for the office is going to make a bit more of an impression than will Coach Blue. It's equally as pleasing, if not more so, but it's just, it's more dominant. Aqua de Jo Profundo by Giorgio Armani makes a fantastic epic office scent just because of how well it's made. It's no surprise that Aqua de Jo is the best-selling men's fragrance of all time. The Flanker Profundo is one of the best fragrances in the line. It's woody, it's aquatic, you could even say marine. It's lightly spicy with that really rich sourced patchouli. You got rosemary, cypress, mastic, mineral amber, and musk. Besides Profumo Special Blend, which is my absolute all-time favorite, this is my next favorite Aqua de Jo. I really like lights, but Lights is actually, to me at least, a bit more playful. This to me is a bit more appropriate for the work environment. But if you don't have this and you do have Aqua de Jo Profundo lights, it's perfectly safe for the office. I just feel like this carries just a bit more maturity, a bit more seriousness about it to make it even more appropriate. The next business blue that will turn heads, that will get you compliments, that will transform the environment from one of inefficiency to uber efficiency, whether it's a board meeting or your own office, is a fragrance by Ralph Lauren in the Polo line. It is Polo Blue Parfum. I was surprised when this was released at just how good it is. Just when you thought that it was super clean, it was super well done, and had that Ralph Lauren refinement that the brand is known for, they bump it up even a notch or two more with Blue Parfum. It's a combination of lavender, jasmine, frankincense, and other notes, but primarily those that combine so well gives it a feeling, a seriousness, and intelligence not dissimilar to Blue de Chanel. So if you like Blue de Chanel, you'll really enjoy Polo Blue Parfum. It's not a copy of it or a clone or mimicking it to any degree. It's got that built-in refinement and predisposition that, again, you're used to out of Ralph Lauren fragrances. Polo Blue Parfum. The next business blue that's perfect for the workplace or the office environment made this list because of just how well done it is and how curiously woody it is for an aquatic fragrance. It rides that fine line between woody and aquatic so well, and I really enjoy it. And unfortunately, it's like one of the last of the line that's still standing, Fan de Fendi Aqua Porome. Fan de Fendi was a great line, the original Fan de Fendi uh, Porome, 
was. Ossolution is still around. This one is still around, but getting harder to find. If you find this, please grab it up. It's perfect for the office because it's just, again, another serious aquatic fragrance. Not necessarily following the same route of Aqua de Jo, but I couldn't help but to think of Aqua de Jo, the original ADG, when I smelled this with the whole marine woody take on a men's fragrance, but it does it in a, its own way. It's kind of a creative derivation of Aqua de Jo. Pink pepper, cardamom, sage, basil, lavender, all the constituents you would expect to find, but it also makes use of leather. So it's not quite as leather heavy as Blue Land, but it's getting there. And that's what, what I like about it is you can pick out the kind of the olfactive texture of, of leather in here, along with the woody notes as well as the aquatic or marine notes again they're put together just like that equalizer where they're putting the slider in just the right direction for the most pleasing results that's what fan defendi is another very really interesting creative take on a marine or aquatic fragrance fan defendi aquaporum who doesn't like a high quality well done masculine fragrance with the note of juniper being dominant if you don't like juniper you probably won't like this fragrance it is by michael kors it is extreme blue the combination of juniper cypress and sage are really what make extreme blue such a great fragrance to wear and enjoy it also has angelica seed pink pepper cardamom cashmere wood and ambroxan the amount of ambroxan or ambroxide in this causes it to be along with that juniper a very uh, not loud fragrance, but it does have really good projection. Not too much projection for the workplace. That's why it's included in this list because it's just that perfect distance between yourself and someone, even if they're relatively close to you. Say you're giving dictation to someone or you're consulting with them about something at work. They're not going to be blown away by this wall of, of hugely inappropriate and loud juniper it's in that perfect circumference or bubble to be very pleasant and that's what makes extreme blue such a great workplace fragrance the last office scent that i want to showcase today that's great for the workplace is a fragrance by mont blanc in the explorer line it is explorer ultra blue now initially i wasn't a fan of ultra blue and i wouldn't necessarily call myself a fan of the fragrance but i do recognize what fragrances are what they're good for whether i like them or not I can definitely tell when a fragrance is good for a specific environment or scenario. And this offering was absolutely made with the office in mind. It's very refreshing. It contains ozonic components. It contains mineralic components. It's lightly minty. It almost has kind of a new barbershop appeal without being barbershop. It's citrus fruits and pink pepper in the open. You've got marine notes or aquatic notes in the heart along with ambergris or ambroxan. The base is patchouli, woody notes, and leather. Similar to a lot of fragrances in this list. Have you noticed that? Those are in most of these fragrances and they really work well off of one another. And that's what creates, again, in my estimation, one of the best kind of office scents or, or work offerings. And that's what makes Mont Blanc Explore Ultra Blue a perfect work fragrance. Well, guys, that's it for my 10 business blues. Blue fragrances that are perfect for the office that are absolutely made to be used while working or while at work. Again, whether you work at a brick and mortar location that you have to drive to or travel to, whether you work at home or from home, you wanna be or act in a way that's gonna get you the best business. Do your best and be your best. These fragrances were created specifically for that kind of environment and to help you kind of amp up your whole work persona and again be the best you can possibly be not only for yourself but for the people around you if you've got any of these let me know which are your favorite or if you've discovered other fragrances that are perfect for the office let us know what those are in the comments below thanks so much though for stopping by and checking out today's video and as always thank you so much for your support on my channel i'm tommy with studio sense and i'll see you tomorrow